<laughs> Welcome to Dover as we watch the 25 spin out as he was going out for practice. That was Jacques Carter. See the 15 Jeremy Scher headed out. And Evers have to show off this car today. Would have been Jacob's fifth birthday. Got him on the car there. CHD awareness, red and blue. Ian Montrose, last night's winner, coming to a stop on track. Quinn Newton puts the first official lap in. 2281 sets us a benchmark for everybody to shoot for. Peter Theriot jumps up to the top of the charts in the 30. VP Racing Fuels Chevrolet. Quinn Newton's second lap takes back that pole. It's Quinn Newton provisional pole for now. Theriot's second lap tied to the thousandths marker, but Newton gets the nod there. Mike Edwards goes third quickest. <laughs> Horton goes fourth quick. 25 Carter goes fifth and smacks the fence. Watch Bikey in the 27. He had a good practice time. First lap, ninth quick. Montrose jumps up to 10th. Gallimore all the way to third on his second lap. Nice bump for Gallimore. Let's see what Bikey puts down in his second lap around. 2284, that should put him third? Question mark? Yeah, third. Let's see, Mike Chris is out on track. He was up in the top 10 in practice. Montrose goes to P7. Blake Giglio, 10th right now. Mike Chris clocks in just ahead of him. Jump over to Blake's lap. He's coming off turn number four to the start finish. 2264, that should be pole. And then we'll watch Mike Chris see if he can once again better Blake Giglio here. 229, he will not. He will jump up to seventh, it looks like. Yes. Kermit Henney on track. 18 Camaro. Kermit's first lap good enough for 14th. Lap number two, a 20.02, puts him in 10th. Lilith Peter's second lap jumps up to P2. 14 cars have completed their qualifying. No one else has headed out yet. So we'll just show you Kermit Henny slowing down. <laughs> it's the last car on track to show you. Jake Lawrence, Daniel Wallen, Scott Elston, Daniel Shelton, Travis Skermetta, J.R. Deal, and Zach Swicegood all not on track. So that looks like it's going to do it for qualifying with a minute left, unless anyone goes out there in the last second. It's probably going to do it. Let's see if we can get a chat with Blake Giglio in the 16. Should be hanging out in chat. There he be. Blake, DG, you got a copy? How's it going? Going good. Looks like you're picking up the pole for tonight. Nobody else is going to attempt to qualify here in the last 30 seconds. So congrats on the P1 and the best uh, pit stop selection tonight. How we feel about staying up front here at Dover? Oh, you know how it goes. Um, it's Wednesday night. I'm tired. So we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully we can stay up front and win this thing. Put it to you this way. Your race will still be shorter than Lucas's. Yeah. He, he's the guy that signed up for that. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a him problem. That is not a me problem. See, when you race people like that, you got to do it in a short manner. You got to do it in like the dirt form where it's only like 30 laps. Makes it go by quick. There you go. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's going to have his hands full. Tim Four. Well, good luck to you tonight, sir. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank you. Blake Giglio, your pole sitter tonight in the 16. We'll let the cars get gridded up here on the formation and... 
Soon we'll have 21 cars contending here at Dover. 120 laps, halfway points at the end of lap 60. Dover can be a bit of a curveball for some newer drivers, and we got a few of those in the field, so we'll see how they adapt to the competition that is the one mile concrete track in Dover. Can be quite a handful. I should have some of the guys out on track now. There we go. Waiting for the rest of the grid to fill in before we start our starting lineups. Still got about eight drivers not on the grid yet. There you go, Edwards, Henny, Carter, Swicegood, Llewellyn. Get on track, y'all. They're not listening. <laughs> Being stubborn. All right, at least we got the whole top 10. Let's start our starting lineup here. Presented by our friends at Labor 12, awesome rock band out of Lubbock, Texas. Here is our starting lineup. Blake Giglio on the pole in a 16 Ally Chevy. Starts alongside Lilith Peters in the Luna Steak Sauce Camaro. Row number two, Quinn Newton in the 88 Labor 12 Chevy. Starts alongside Peter Therio in the BP Racing Fuel Chevy. Brandon Bikey, the Chevy Dodge Viper TWRS. <laughs> I promise you that's what he calls it. He calls it his Chevy Dodge Viper. <laughs> Starts in the fifth spot, Paul Gallimore. The Team Watson Racing Setups Chevy Camaro with the DW Inspired Scheme goes off in six. Mike Edwards with the Congenital Heart Defect Awareness Fort Worth Screen Printing Cave RP Toyota starts in seventh. Mike Chris, the Low Drag Esports Ford Mustang, starts in eighth. Justin Hortza, <laughs> Hortzma, it's two different people. Justin Horton in <laughs> the Luna Steak Sauce Camaro starts in ninth. Kermit Henny in the Kermit Henny Camaro starts in tenth. Ian Montrose Bass Pro Chevy starts eleventh. Jacques Carter, he's going to start in the pits in the 25 Bass Pro Shops Toyota. Ethan Evers, another congenital heart defect awareness Toyota, starts in the 13th spot. Jeremy Sherry, the Circle Camaro, starts in 14th. Travis Cremetta, Moosehead Lager Chevy, starts in 15th. Daniel Shelton, Ford Quality Care Service, 94 Derek Jarrett Throwback, starts 16th. And Swice Good, the Labor 12 Chevy, starts in 17th. Daniel Wallen, Labor 12 Chevy, starts on pit road in 18th. JR Deal, Starburst. Ford Mustang, which looks delicious, starts in 19th. Jake Lawrence in his beautiful pink ghost machine starts in 20th. Scott Elson, the Traxxas Toyota, starts 21st. 24, 21 cars set to contend 120 laps here at Dover. Fort Worth Screen Printing Cup Series, part of the Sidewinder Racing Leagues. Field works off turn number four. Giglio has to wait for the green flag on this first start. Here they go. Blake Giglio on that loud pedal as green flags out in the air. We are underway here at Dover, Delaware. Peter Therio already rushing the wall there on corner entry into one. Peter's trying to hang on the outside of Giglio, but I don't think that's going to work out too well in the long run. You can contend side by side, but it will burn up your tires up there. Peter's, though, really going after it here. Giglio not giving it up. We stay side by side for the lead. Most of the cars behind him already dropped single file. Somebody's down on the apron. That looks like Daniel Lawallen just leaving pit road. The field streaks by him. Giglio gets ahead of Peters. That is for the lead. Giglio a little bit of a bobble there. And he's loose. He's going to hit the inside wall. Race leader Blake Giglio goes around on the front stretch as he smacks the wall hard. He's probably going to tow that out of there. It's down out of the way. No yellow flag yet. Driving away, the front suspension obviously completely broke on that car. Left front's turning up the track. We're going to stay with Giglio here. He's 19. He's broken steering. He's going to smack the inside wall again. Hopefully he keeps it down out of the way. Doesn't come back up the track. Hear the field coming. There they go by. Peters and Therio is... Blake Giglio gets it to pit road. We'll stay green. Lilith Peters, Peter Therio, 1 2. Bean team, as they call their team. 1 and 2. And Quinn Newton, all alone in third. 
Brandon Bikey has the 70 of Mike Chris, the 14 of Edwards, 17 of Gallimore, and the 18 of Henny. All right there with him. Bikey up the hill. Just gonna let Gallimore through those two RC mates. Here comes Henny to the inside of Bikey. Justin Horton, the third Dean team car, right there in ninth. Watch this side-by-side -side action from Battle Force seventh. Oh, Henny up the track a little bit. Mikey was coming down to take the corner exit. That got really tight. Mike Devers, Mike Christopher also knows the tail. The Michaels up front. Swap for the lead. Could be a teammate uh, strategy to get them both a lap led here. Dario gets around Peters. Dario's going to pick up the lap led there. Still fighting for the seventh spot between Bikey and Penny. Mikey able to drive it in and get in front of Henny. Hang on to seventh for now. Now Justin Horton can finally decide which lane they want to try and get by Kermit Henny with. We'll look to the inside in one. Look around for some other battles. Montrose out of shape in the one. That could have been really big. <laughs> Pretty good save there. He's going to lose a few spots, but he kept the race car. Montrose falling down to 13th. Ethan Evers now right behind him. Blake Giglio, Jacques Carter, and Jake Lawrence have all fallen out of the race already. Therio now has a one second lead up front. Peters drifting back towards Quinn Newton and Mike Christopher now. Mike Edwards there in the 14. Ten percent of the way through the race already. Couldn't tell if Edwards got out of shape there or was trying to pass Mike Chris. Came off kind of low there on turn four. Now we have a four car battle for the second, third, and fourth spots. Now Edwards does go inside Mike Chris. The mics change positions. Edwards fourth now, Christopher fifth. Quinn Newton catching up to Lilith Peters. Dario's lead now 1.6 seconds. Justin Horton right on the back bumper of Kermit Henney. That's for the eighth position. Horton looks to the inside, but not quite able to draw along. JR deals X twice good further back in the pack, side by side. JR a little out of shape down there in the bottom. That'll cost him the spot to twice good.
Swice could then try to come off the corner underneath Lawallan. Does the same thing and the nine of deal goes back by him. These are the last handful of cars on the lead lap. And then that 23 Labor 12 Chevy just ahead of them. That is the only car off the lead lap. Daniel Lawallan one lap down. All the other cars are out of the race. Jake Lawrence will finish 19th, Blake Giglio 20th, and Jacques Carter 21st. Mike Edwards has run down Quinn Newton. Drops to the inside in one and two. Mike Christopher right there to try and take advantage of the 88 being up off the bottom. Still side by side for that third spot. You can keep up the upper groove if you can keep the bottom car pinched down. Who's that in the background headed to the inside wall? That was Skirmetta in the 71. Skirmetta hits pit road. That is too early, so I think that is going to be a retirement. Skirmetta will finish 18th I think. Dario leads now by 1.1 over Lilith Peters. Mike Edwards has completed that pass. He is now third. Mike Christopher fourth. Paul Gallimore fifth. It's Quinn Newton drifting back sixth and counting. Bikey to his inside now. Oh my gosh, Bikey. All the way down to the inside there. Fortunately didn't smack the wall, but lost several spots and some momentum. He's back down to ninth. Horton and Henny seventh and eighth. Jeremy Shears had an issue on the front stretch. Got into the wall, and Daniel Lawallen, not expecting that, gets into him. Leaves his whole front bumper on the track. He's down on the flat, trying to make his way around. He's low enough on the track that he shouldn't be bringing out a yellow, but he is going very slow. Might bring out a yellow here on this back stretch. That's very close to the racing line. Justin Horton goes around the outside of Quinn Newton. Here comes Kermit Henney. E18 trying to follow around the outside. Bikey, after he had his big bobble. So he passed the 15, still down there on the apron. Cher will eventually get this thing back around. does make it to pit road. We'll stay green. Lilith Peters has run Peter Theriot back down. Was a 1.2 second lead. Now it's just two tenths and dropping. Mike Edwards 2.1 back from that battle. Theriot's car looking like it's pushing off the corners. Peters gets to the inside. There you go, up the hill. This will be an easy lead change as Lilith Peters back to the point. Leads lap 29. Actually doesn't. Went way up the hill. <laughs> Peter there you go, leads lap 29. Now we get the lead change complete. And Peters will lead lap 30. 
Mike Edwards now 1.5 back, so picked up a little bit with that lead exchange. Mike Chris fourth, Paul Gallimore in fifth, Justin Horton there sixth, Brandon Mikey seventh, Kermit Henney eighth. Quinn Newton in ninth. J.R. Deal moving up as the 94 has gone around and brought out our first caution. It is Daniel Shelton. Shelton tried to get it to pit road. Oh my gosh, J.R. Deal <laughs> probably needs a change of pants. <laughs> that was so very close. Let's ride with JR through that. Two ninety four trying to go to pit road then. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was terrifying. Field coming to pit road. Thirty five mile an hour pit road. It's gonna take them a hot minute to get from one end to the other. Fifteen cars still in the lead lap when caution came out. Like Daniel Wallen be their free pass car. One makes it to their box, see who wins the race off pit road. Pole sitter, remember already out of the race, Blake Giglio crashed early on. Going to be Mike Edwards leading everyone off the field. Goodness. What happened to the 01 and the 30? Both of them still sitting there. 30, a 25 second stop. Peter's 33 and counting. Peter's had a 35 second stop. JR Deal still sitting there. Now JR down and away. 49 second stop for him. He did brush the wall. Maybe he was getting a little damage fix. So now Mike and Mike are first and second. Mike Edwards, Mike Christopher. Justin Horton up to third. Daniel Wallen. Free pass car on pit road now. Jeremy Sherry looks like he's going to take the wave around here. It's only been three laps since he was on pit road. See if we can get a chat with JR. He should be back on track, yeah. JR DG got a copy. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. First of all, I wanted to say your booty looks delicious. Thank you. It, it, it does it's tasty. <laughs> nice and chewy and juicy. Mm. <laughs> uh, second thing I wanted to say, do you need a new change of pants after that? Yes, very much so. Good thing I know a guy. <laughs> Good thing you know a guy. If you need khakis anyway, if you need anything yes, else, kind of up the creek. <laughs> yeah, that, that definitely scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Just right in front of you. Like, oh my goodness. Is he like got so scared he brushed the wall afterwards? Yes, I sure did. <laughs> uh, so you're just down for some damage repair there? Looks like the car is a little little banged up on both sides. Yeah, that's, that's all it was. Team four. Get four tires and fuel and some damage repair and re-rack them. Try again. You're up to 12th now with so many cars falling out already. Hey, that's, that sounds pretty good. Right, right, right. Free spots. Yeah. Only yeah. two more to get in the top 10. It's going to be a good night. Imagine that. <laughs> All right, bud. Good luck to you. Take it easy, brother. JR Deal. In the nine. Always fun to talk to. See the Michaels on the front row here. Edwards in the 14, Christopher in the 70. Row 2 will be 39 of Horton, the 27 of Bikey.
Lights are out. On our iRacing pace car, we're getting set for a restart. It'll be at the start of lap 37. Field works our way out of turn number four. Edwards gets on that loud pedal. We are underway once again. Mike Edwards leads Mike Christopher. Justin Horton third. Brandon Bikey fourth. Bikey losing that four spot to Gallimore. Bikey has Henny, Newton, and then side by side, that's twice good and 94 of Shelton. Oh, one of Peters was leading when that caution came out. Finds back in 10th. Much work to do now. And there's JR Deal behind in 11th. Ethan Evers 12th. Peter Therio, the other leader early in this race. Therio to the inside of two cars, gets them both. That was Evers and Montrose up the hill. And Peter Therio just drove right through to 12th. There is Peters trying to make their way back up to the front. Peters now looking high. Going to get a good run here, I believe, and cut to the inside. Looks inside Daniel Shelton. Here's Peter Therio inside JR Deal. It's the Bean Team cars coming back to the front. Zach Swice good there in between them in the 24. Beautiful white, black, and gold Labor 12 machine. Peter's having a hard time getting by Shelton here. Shelton actually able to use that high line to hold off Peter's. And Chris has Justin Horton right behind. Battle of what looks like Easter egg cars. All those pastel colors. That settles out. Now JR Deal has been able to get around twice good. As has Therio. Swice good had a bit of an issue, had to get out of the throttle. Daniel Wall and Ian Montrose, that's for 14th. Ethan Evers bounces off the fence, he's down in 16th. He has expressly said he is not a fan of this track. Mike Edwards, his teammate, leads. Edwards up eight tenths over Mike Christopher. Mike Chris holding off Justin Horton. And you have Gallimore, Bikey, and several others. <laughs> 94 of Shelton inside. Quinn Newton going to make a little bit of contact there. Both of them survive it. Newton had to get out of the throttle. Probably not happy, but... Still has a race car. Here is battle for fifth spot. Brandon Bikey, Kermit Henney. On JR Deal trying to get up into the top 10. He's battling Quinn Newton. Bikey holds on to the fifth spot for now. A lot of cars running in close proximity, but nobody side by side at the moment. Closing in on halfway in a hurry. This race is flying by.
Just the one caution so far. Four cars out of the race. Travis Kermetta, Jake Lawrence, Blake Giglio, and Jack Carter. JQ. Edwards leading over Mike Chris. And Horton still the top three. I tell you, this hornet's nest, <laughs> sixth on back. They're all very close together. About sixth to twelfth. Can really just put them all under a blanket. Really fifth to twelfth. Peter's going to look inside the 94 of Daniel Shelton. And they contact coming off turn number four. Lilith Peters headed to the inside fence. There's no way they saved that one. We stay green as they keep going in the right direction. Then turns back up the track, holding the brake. Fortunately, that did not hit anybody. Peters continues on in the last car on the lead lap now, probably... Not pleased. <laughs> I would not be either. Mike Chris up the hill. Here comes Horton looking to the inside. Mike Chris then closes the door running that diamond line. Mike Chris protects the bottom, lets the 39 have whatever top they want. We're going to have to find a way around. Mike Chris won't make it easy. So this is right up on the back bumper. Now he's going to get the inside. Justin Horton. Down to the inside is Mike Chris all the way up the hill. That'll give Horton second spot. Try to start reeling in Mike Edwards. Peter's still turning in decent lap times, 23.5 the last time, so car not too horribly damaged. There's Gallimore in fourth, Bikey running fifth, Kermit Henney sixth, Dario seventh, here comes Daniel Shelton, Quinn Newton, and then JR Deal is up into the top ten, giving that Starburst Mustang a good ride. Zach Spice good. <laughs> a little bit of an adventure there. Almost got the inside wall. Mike Edwards leads as we close in on the stage. Shelton and Newton battle for eight. That metal cools off. That is the gap first to second, 1.3 seconds. This is our stage lap. At the end of this lap, we'll give it out halfway points to the top 10. Mike Edwards off turn number four. Pick up the stage win. Ten points to Edwards, nine for Horton, eight Mike Chris, seven to Gallimore, six to Bikey, five to Henny, four to Therio, three to Shelton, two to well that still says Therio. Now it's four to Newton, three to Shelton, two to Therio, and JR Deal picks up the final point there in the top ten.
This is the final race before we get into the playoffs. There he is, closed in the back of Shelton once again. Newton, <laughs> he would like to be watching Lucas Hoyser run a race right now, but he had to be here to stay inside the top 12 in points. Let's go ahead and look at our points graphic while we got a moment. You see Quinn Newton down there in 11th. Lilith Peters, a little sketchy right now. Down there in 16th spot, last car in the lead lap. Not very far, only five points above the cut line. Then you have Mike Christopher and Paul Gallimore battling for that last spot, 295 apiece. Tiebreaker would go to their best overall finish on the top first regular season races, the first 10. So it went down the line until that tie gets broken. So how many seconds, how many thirds, how many fourths? Working up the track. Oh my gosh, that was really tight racing. Newton around the outside, then there you around the inside. These three are scrapping. Don't look now, but Paul Gallimore is catching Mike Christopher. That would be for the fourth position, third position, excuse me. Jump over there is Mike Christopher's run down the 39 of Justin Horton. Horton got very tight there off four and then cut it down way to the left. Very odd line through the front stretch. We've seen that a few times from the cars. Bikey gets by teammate Gallimore. Bikey now fourth. This is second, third, fourth, and fifth all nose to tail. Looks like Jeremy Shearer may have called it a night in the 15. So you have five cars falling out of the race. Twice Goods had an issue in the 24. He just missed pit road, which is easy to do at Dover. Dover's a very hard pit road to get on. So he's ahead of the 85. Yeah, he's coming to pit road on purpose here and just misses it. Could not get it slowed down in time. Let's see if he comes down this time by. Yep. Slowed it down much earlier this time. <laughs> Twice Good gets to pit road in the 24. So Mike Edwards goes by, puts him a lap down. So the pit stop starting here, lap 69. Swice good. 24 Labor 12 Chevy on pit road. Looking at 50 laps to go. Probably want to go another seven laps if you want to cut the run in half. Of course, Dover is one of those places a caution could come out at any time. I always ran the tank long at Dover for that reason. This is Gallimore and Horton, fourth place, changing hands. Well, Bikey and Mike Chris, this is second place. It seems those Team Watson racing setups, Camaros are good on the long run. Twice good back up to speed. Could be momentarily three laps down, but I believe he's going to have the tires to be able to go back by Edwards. And you can see him gaining there through the corner. Should be able to set him up a corner exit. He'll be back to two laps down once he gets back by Edwards. So Swice good now only two laps down. Edwards leads Bikey. 1.7 the gap as Edwards had to let Swice good through.
Mike Chris falling to third. Gallimore in fourth. Justin Horton fifth. Kermit Henney sixth. Quinn Newton seventh. Peter Theriot eighth. Daniel Shelton ninth. Daniel Llewellyn in tenth. Llewellyn battling Lilith Peters. Peters now back to the top ten. Gets around Llewellyn. Evers JR Deal exchange the 12th position. Evers gets around the nine. Henny right there on the back bumper of Justin Horton. That would be for the final spot in the top five. Kermit Henny can put on a move and get by here. Bikey is running down Mike Edwards. The gap's down to 1.2. That's up over two seconds at one point. Kermit Henney now does get by Justin Horton in the 39. Kermit out of shape, back down towards the inside wall, and Horton gets the spot right back. Looks like Lilith Peters has decided it's time to come to pit road. 0-1 in for their stop. That'll force some of those cars around the 0-1 to come to pit road in relatively short order. As Mike Edwards streaks by, there goes Bikey. That gap down to eight tenths now. Bikey really closing in. Now it's six tenths. Bikey will be there in very short order. Middle entry and late exit. I love that line at Dover. Edwards looks like he's going to pit road there. Mike Edwards, race leader. On pit road. It's like the 94 Daniel Shelton, the 30 Peter Therio. 94 may have sped. Keep an eye as the green flag stops start to unfold here. Also on pit road, the zero one. So little Peters come in and out. Kermit Henney's been to pit road. So green flag stops underway in earnest here. Paul Gallimore on pit road. Gebbard's getting those left side tires down on the way for the 14. Brandon Bikey may have missed pit road. So he gave up the lead, but he had not been to pit road yet. Justin Horton, now your race leader. Quinn Newton in second. Daniel Wallen takes over third. Ethan Evers fourth. Ian Montrose, all those cars have not been to pit road. Then Mike Christopher, who has been to pit road, or is on pit road, currently sixth. Horton stays out another lap. As does Quinn Newton, Lawallen, Evers, and Montrose. So all five stay out for another lap here. They may be running them dry to hope for that yellow. Could see extended cycle where we see quite a few cars with a big speed differential. Looked like Horton was trying to get to pit road there and missed it. 39 of Horton missing pit road. Quinn Newton stays out. Daniel Wallen stays out. Ethan Evers in the 26. He's hit pit road, so four cars left to pit on this cycle. Looks 
Horton slowing down much earlier this time. Still going to miss pit road. Two times around, Justin Horton has missed pit road completely. Quinn Newton takes over as race leader. I told you this pit road was tricky. <laughs> it is showing its ugly head here. Miles the Monster not letting him pit. Let's see if Horton gets it this time. Now he got it. Third time's a charm. Justin Horton makes it on pit road. Gave up a ton of time, though, trying to get down. Ian Montrose comes to the pit road. That leaves Llewellyn and Newton as the only cars. There is Newton, and five seconds back, there is Llewellyn. Newton stays out. About a half a lap is the lead for Quinn Newton. Goodness gracious, that's a big gap. Here comes Newton, trying to make it to the pits. Hopefully he has seen everyone else miss it and comes down the 94. That's Daniel Shelton stopping short on pit road. He may be retiring his car in 16th. Here comes Daniel Lawallen. So both those cars hitting pit road. Quinn Newton, Daniel Lawallen. That will give the lead back to Mike Edwards. We watch Newton roll pit road. There's Daniel Lawallen getting to his box. You should see the red, white, and blue 14 streak by Mike Edwards. And there he goes into turn one, takes over the race lead. Now has a seven second lead over the 18 of Kermit Henning. Then Lilith Peters is in third. Took the fast repair on that last stop, so the car looking brand new once again. You have Gallimore in fourth. Bikey with his issues getting to pit road. He falls back to the fifth spot. Mike Christopher sixth. Peter Therio in seventh. Justin Horton up to eighth, getting by Zach Swicegood. Swicegood been out there on 23 laps on these tires, so he's going to be one of the slower cars right now. He's in ninth. It's two seconds over Ethan Evers. There is Edwards. Quinn Newton currently a lap down. Has fresher rubber than Mike Edwards, though. Should be able to unlap himself here. We'll ride with Quinn as you watch race leader Edwards up ahead. 28 laps to go from Dover. Closing in on race leader Mike Edwards. Edwards behind Lawallen, probably being a little extra careful. Lawallen goes up the hill. Lawallen already two laps down. Edwards trying to put him three laps down, but Lawallen does have fresh rubber. Edwards gap 6.7 seconds. Lost a little bit. It's Kermit Henney has Lilith Peters, 0 1 behind, and Paul Gallimore in the 17. Those all four positions, second, third, and fourth. Also have Swice Good and Elston. This is for a spot in the top ten. Elston going to go to the inside. Remember Swice Good, a little bit older, tired. Elston will pick up that spot in the top ten. 
There is Edwards, the one of Montrose, 88 Newton. So Wallen's pulled out on Mike Edwards a bit. Ian Montrose now side by side with Quinn Newton. That is for position. That's the battle for the lucky dog at the moment. Swice good up, brush the wall there. Oh no, Montrose and Swice good make contact. Nice save from Montrose. Let's take another look at that. Going through turn four, Swice good gets the left rear of Montrose. Swice then hits the outside wall to straighten his car out, and Mancho saves his, and they keep going in the right direction. It's a very good save. Newton gets by Edwards finally. Edwards will be glad of that. Peter's starting to fade back a little bit to Gallimore. 20 to go at Dover, 100 down. Dario uh, in the background going by Mike Christopher. Points will be what all these drivers are looking for at the end of this race. Unless Edwards can get the win here, he would lock himself in that way. Mike Chris gets back by Therio. 30 and 70, swapping that sixth spot back and forth. It's like Gallimore finally gets a little Peters up off the bottom. Brandon Bikey, the teammate to Gallimore, going to try to follow through. Peters bounces it off the fence there. That'll help Bikey's cause, and now the Team Watson Racing setup. Cool Runnings team cars are in third and fourth. Mike Edwards leads over Kermit Henney. It's like Swice Goods down on the apron. It's been on and off pit road. He'll resume the fight. Currently five laps down for that 24 car. Edwards crosses the stripe. 15 laps remaining. In this Fort Worth Screen Printing Cup Series race, part of the Sidewinder Racing Leagues. Check out all, all the information at dgsracing.com. And we have a yellow. Dario in the 30. Mike Edwards probably not happy at all about that. Dario hits the outside walls halfway down the straightaway. Ah, got loose out of four and was fighting it the whole way. There's the whole story. <laughs> it took the whole straightaway for the 30 to finally bring out the caution. Dario pushing a little too hard there. Brings out the yellow. Let's see what the drivers are saying on the radio. Oh, I thought far about that guy. Dario apologizing. I'm sure if they have a set, they'll he have to come a... get it. That was me. I got loose out of four and was fighting it down the front and just lost it. That was the worst possible time for a caution for me. I'm sorry. Ian, yeah, you can mention me afterwards if you think I have a problem with you. I have no issue with you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we got some wave around cars. Montrose, Elston, and Deal stay out. They can make it to the end on fuel, so I'm sure they'll take that gamble and try to catch another caution. Yup. <laughs> JR confirming. <laughs> 
Oh, that's going to be close between Horton and, and Edwards. Very, very close. Looks like Newton has uh, decided to play spoiler here, along with Montrose, and stay out. So Edwards with the fresh tires comes out in... It shows third. That was so very close, that exit race between the 14 and 39. Newton and Montrose both coming the second time around. So there I we go. I got caught speeding, going to the back. Who's that? Is that Kermit? 18, Kermit Henney. was running second when that yellow came out. Dropping to the tail of the field with the pit road violation. That hurts. Fortunately for Kermit, he wasn't really running for the points. Just here for the experience, maybe to get ready for next season. Trying to trophy chase. Let's look at those points one more time. Edwards is 8th right now. Not locked in, but was comfortable. And then with a race win, would be locked in. See Mike Chris, Paul Gallimore right on that cutoff line. They're currently fifth and sixth in the race. Quinn Newton is down in tenth. It is going to be very tight between those three drivers. Little Peters currently fourth should be okay. Montrose still eleventh should also be okay. Cleaver and Therio should be all right. Therio probably locked in. Cleaver not here tonight. So I'm trying to think what the point scale is. He could be in trouble. If the 11th, 12th, and 13th place cars score enough points, Cleaver might actually fall out of this. It'd be very, very close. But I think Cleaver would just barely have enough points. So we look at our schedule. Head to Kansas next week to start the playoffs. And Darlington, what a 1-2 for a, an opening round of the playoffs. Round of 12, Kansas and Darlington. All right, field forming back up on the backstretch. Pace car lights are out. Poor Kermit had to drop all the way back to 10th. With that pit road penalty. Edwards, your control car is chosen in the bottom here. Horton up top. Then you have Bikey and Peters row two. Gallimore and Mike Christopher row three. Edwards gets on that loud pedal. Horton was ready for it. And they are door to door at the start finish line. Still not clear for the lead yet. Edwards this time has Horton cleared. Horton smacks the fence trying to stay in the throttle. That's going to slow him down and Bikey is going to get alongside for second. And Bikey probably going to get clear here. And Bikey clears the second. Now he's going to try to run down Mike Edwards up front. Kermit Henney up to ninth after his penalty there. Horton way up by the wall again. Bikey, a whole head of steam right there. Closed right up on the back bumper of Mike Edwards. Bikey ran a little bit better line. Gets a head of steam on the straightaways with the line he's running in that 27. See, Edwards is a little bit lower through the center of the corner. Bikey drifts up, then cuts it down on corner exit, and that's given him a ton of momentum on the straightaway. Here comes Horton, though. Horton getting that nose in there. Caution back out as well. Henny, Evers. Mike Christopher. Oh, my gosh. That was a hard hit. Zach Swice good right at the end. Gets collected. Oh, yeah. I wasn't trying to go low. 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that came up. We'll check the uh, we'll check the replay. Right, Chris and the 18. Christopher comes down a little bit off the wall. 18 was tight on him. Right, Chris is right by the fence there, then comes down a little bit, and the 18 was drifting up slightly, and they met in the middle. Both cars paying the price as well as the 24 Schweiss good and the 26 of Ethan Evers. There's nowhere to go for the 26 machine. There they go together, down into the inside fence. Ethan Evers, nowhere to go. And right at the end, Swice Good gets a piece. Well, there's the yellow that JR Deal needed. He'll get to come to Pit Road after that wave around. Get some fresh rubber on the night. Lucky dog going high. Daniel Wallen gets the lucky dog. Cat in here making mayhem for us. So Edwards restart as the leader once again, but this time Brandon Bikey will be alongside. Bikey is really giving him a run for his money there. Started this race with 21 cars. Quite a few of them banged up to the point where they are no longer running. That might be the end of the race for the 26. So as they run, Edwards, Bikey, Horton, Peters, Dario, Gallimore, Newton, Deal, Montrose, and Llewellyn. Llewellyn on pit road along with, it's like the 85 of Scott Elson. Elson off the lead lap. I think Mike Chris in the 70s getting some damage repair. She's now off the lead lap. The 11 cars left on the lead lap. No idea what Edwards and Mike you're doing, but it's entertaining. Getting trash on their tires, that's what they're doing. <laughs> Having fun under pacing. If the lights go out here, we'd have a natural greenway checker. And I think they will. Mike, I'll, uh, I'll message you after this. Yep. Lights out on the pace car. We're getting set for the restart. Brandon Bikey to the top in his Chevy Dodge Viper. <laughs> if you see the door inlets around the number 27, those are Dodge Viper inlets, and uh, yeah, he calls it his Chevy Viper. So here we are. Love to let our drivers show their personalities. Mike Edwards, your control car, the white, red, and blue machine down on the inside line. Bikey in second, the red and white striped. Camaro up top. Row number two is Horton Peters, and then Therio, so Bean Team 3, 4, and 5. Then Gallimore in 6, Teammate 2, Bikey. Then Quinn Newton in 7th. J.R. Deal 8th, Ian Montrose 9th, and Kermit Henny, your top 10. Edwards gets a much better launch this time. He's going to clear Bikey, but that may help Bikey. Bikey runs better down low. Edwards jumps out front. Bikey trying to run him back down. Horton third. Dario fourth. Peters fifth. 
Gallimore trying to take that fist fight away. Horton up into the fence. Bikey's going to have a strong run on the straightaway here. He always runs middle to high. Take it here, Daniel. Oh, he's going to get the fence there. He's pushing hard for that win, Bikey is. White flag's in the air. Two more corners left. Edwards out front, Bikey in second. Can Bikey get the run he needs off turn number four? Mike Edwards, Brandon Bikey. Bikey's going to fence it again. Mike Edwards right, Mike. picks up the win there. Bikey second. Horton brings it home third. Dario in fourth. Lilith hey, Peters fifth. Right there, Gallimore, Newton, Montrose. J.R. Deal gets the top ten. Brings it home yeah, ninth. Daniel Wallen. Then Kermit Henney. Brings it home eleventh. Scott Elson twelfth. Hey, Entertaining race. Good, Thank you. Congratulations, uh, Michael on the win and Brandon on second. Thanks, man. Fun race with you out there. Oh, Horton, you got on to third, man. Good racing with you. This is a good race. Fun time, guys. Mike, get in Discord. Yeah, sorry, I cut your nose a little bit there. Um, didn't know you were going to get to me that quick going in. You can get the top three to the waiting room, please, and thank you. Horton, Bikey, and Edwards. Come on, Christopher. We're waiting on you. Gotta play some golf. <laughs> And Justin Horton in the rating room, bring him in. Hello, Justin Horton, DG in the booth, you got a copy? Yeah, I got you guys, how's it going? It's going well, looks like it was a lot of fun out there at Dover, one of my favorite tracks, I don't know about you, but uh, you put on a good show out there and uh, brought it home third tonight, how do we feel about the race? Oh, it felt good, uh, I'm glad I was able to finish in third, I was able to get decent stage points, right now it's really going to come down to... Uh, where I finish off between the points between uh, Mike and Paul. It's going to be uh, very interesting to see where I come out and if I make the uh, top 12 or not once the points are set up. Definitely going to be interesting. I'm going to be waiting on tooth and nail to watch, and I'm not even one of the drivers. <laughs> it's going to be cool to see oh, yeah. who's I'm in and who's out. Absolutely glued to that channel, trying to see when it pops up with the update. Ten four. Well, best of luck to you in the points and see where they all shake out. You got those friends, family, and sponsor shoutouts for us tonight? Yeah, um, I got to thank uh, Fort Worth Screen Printing for being the sponsor of the series. I got a shout out to Team The Bean Team, leader uh, Lilith and Peter. Thank them a lot for them giving me guide and helping me uh, get better at the track and racing. I got to thank Luna's Steak Sauce, sold by Foxfire Foods. For being on the car and sponsoring me through all the series I run. Uh, all I can really hope for now is uh, that I end up making it in the playoffs. It was a real do or die race today. And then uh, thank you for uh, broadcasting. <laughs> yes, sir. And uh, thanks for putting on a good show out there. And uh, like I said, best of luck when those points come out. See where it all shakes out. Good luck. Thank you. And thank you to Michael. Uh, or not Michael, sorry. And uh, congratulations to Michael on the win and uh, Brandon on getting second place. It was a real fun race in between them. 10 4. We'll see you back here next week, one way or the other. Good luck. Thank you. Justin Horton brings it home in third tonight. Now we'll bring in Bikey in the 27. Brandon DG. They won't let me pull up. <laughs> there it goes. Brandon DG, you got a copy? I got a copy. What's up, DG? Well, first of all, what did you do to Discord? It really did not want me to bring you in here. Oh, you know, I was keying up, so I don't know. Maybe I was keeping you from pulling me. <laughs> Maybe. All right, well, we brought the Chevy Viper home in second tonight. Tell me about your run, and man, you were giving it all there at the end. Got into the fence a few times, just trying to push it so hard. Yeah, I mean, on the short run, um, I think everyone was pretty equal for the most part. I think on the long run, uh, both Paul and I were killing everybody, so we weren't looking for that caution to come out, although um, because I missed the pits earlier in the race, that I, I needed that to even have a shot at Mike, so... Uh, congrats to him. It was awesome run by him. He was leading most of that ra that race. So it was fun. I mean, it was a great track and I think everyone was driving clean. It was a lot less cautions uh, than last week. So that was really good. And uh, we had a good time out there. Yeah, smaller fields. So, you know, less yellows. It makes sense, right? <laughs> well, 
Yeah. Crack also. Mm-hmm. 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 People get uh, a little heady over there at the super speedways, and then they get to Dover, and they they don't want to touch it. That's why it's a smaller field. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah, there just wasn't a lot of respect last week, so I'm glad that everyone showed a lot more this week. Yeah, it was nice. It was a good show. Good show. A lot of a lot of green flag runs and a very very good race. All right, sir, so hit me with those Team Watson Racing setup sponsor shoutouts. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Team Watson Racing. Thank you for that plug. Um, they've been with me for you know about six months now, and I've uh, helped me grow as a driver, saved me tires, all that stuff I was no good at before. Um, so it's it's an amazing group. If you are looking to do open uh, racing and officials definitely go over to team Watson racing setups and get your setups there. It's the best. We help everyone to get better. Um, also want to thank my team, cool runnings, uh, motorsports, Paul and Mark. Um, they are the best teammates ever. So I want to shout out to them. I want to shout out to my dad who watches almost all these broadcasts, uh, and my wife, Lindsay, who supports me all the time. So I just want to thank, uh, them and then DG for you putting on all these broadcasts and, um, Ethan for putting on the league. It's just so fun. So we appreciate it. Tim four. Congrats on you, sir. Congrats on that P two and uh get ready for them playoffs next week. Yeah, yeah. Congrats to Mike for winning. He's a awesome driver. <laughs> Tim four. Good luck, sir, and we'll see you next week. Brandon Bikey bringing it home P two. And now we'll go get tonight's race winner, the fourteen of Mike Edwards. Mikey. Well, that was a shock. How'd you get it done? <laughs> uh, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Dover and Cup would be my uh, first Cup win for the season. What yep. ran like five laps of practice, and uh, I, I I don't know. I think Jacob was driving the car. Got to be man. That's uh two for two with him on the car. Uh, for one uh, on his anniversary, and then birthday. So it's pretty awesome to be able to do that. Beautiful paints. Uh, sucks Ethan crashed out, but man that. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. So happy I was able to do that for you. Yeah, I was totally shocked. I was like, "Why is what? Why, Mikey? What?" <laughs> it's... Long run, decent long run speed too. I didn't have bikey long run speed because he was hauling there at the end. But you know, for Dover, where I usually burn my stuff up pretty bad, I felt like I was pretty steady. Yeah, and like you said, it's the the long run speed was just nothing for those team Watson cars. Cause both of them were coming in a hurry. And fortunately you got a couple of yellows late with the uh, short runs there. I don't know. I don't think he needed them. Cause you were what? Seven seconds up. You probably would have been okay. Yeah, <laughs> man. I hit that pit. Perfect. If I was like a split second, uh, too late or too quick, I would have sped there. I was, I'm really surprised I didn't speed in the pits. And then, uh, a lot of people seem to not know the speed up, slow down method that the pros use. Um, for pit exit, so I took advantage. That's how I beat Mike Chris out, and then I think I beat Justin out too on yep. pit road. So just gotta take advantage of what you can. That that race between you and and Horton was so close. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw like forty six in pit road speeds, thirty five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, if, if you if you can get it right, you that's where it's helpful. You have to teach me sometime because I'm still not good at it. Yeah, it's a little sketchy, but. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Ten four. All right, bud. Hit me with those friends, family, sponsor shoutouts. Yeah, uh, everybody at KVRP, Fort Worth Screen Printing, EPI, Labor Twelve, uh, Autism Awareness Month. Um, driving that car off and on for my buddy Matthew uh, and his son, and uh, you and for Jacob. Happy birthday, Jacob! Uh, glad I was able to do something and not crash or stop before the finish this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Now you're you're yeah. you don't have to sweat the points tonight. You know you're locked in now. Yeah, right. Start of the playoffs. Got Charlotte at trucks tomorrow, so uh, should be fun. It's a good week. Very good week. Yeah. Tam four. All right, and we also want to throw out the uh, CHD awareness, which is that red and blue scheme on your car. Uh, that is for yeah, congenital yeah. heart defects. And I think that's everything. <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of shout outs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you have a lot of people helping you out and being supportive, that's how it goes. Yeah, and shout out to Lucas for Great doing something else tonight. I mean, he wins too much and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they said about the modifieds. They said all they need for have a competitive series in Sidewinder is to have uh, Lucas do the broadcasts and have uh, Blake uh, hurt himself so that he can't race. And Blake, too. He sent me a Snapchat when he was on the poll and he showed my name at the very bottom of the list because I started, what, like 6th or 8th or something like that trying to <laughs> be Blake and be a show off. And then he crashed like a few laps later and then he yep. sent me a message and said, Karma got me good. 
<laughs> Four laps in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shout out to him for doing that. Perfect. <laughs> All right, but congrats on the victory tonight, and we will see you in the playoffs next week. Thanks, bud. Mike Edwards in the 14, getting the win tonight. Let's go ahead and check out our final results page. I promise we can get to him. It just take a second. There it goes. <laughs> Mike Edwards with the win tonight. Brandon Bikey, Justin Horton getting podiums. There you go. And Peters getting the top five spots. We went way too fast there. <laughs> Gallimore, Newton, Montrose, J.R. Deal, and Daniel Lawallen picking up top tens tonight. Kermit Henney struggled with a pit road speeding penalty at the end there. F finishes 11th. Scott Elston, 12th. Mike Chris, Ethan Evers, Zach Schweissgood, Daniel Shelton, Jeremy Scherer, Travis Cremetta, Jake Lawrence, and Blake Giglio, your top 20. And your final runner, Jacques Carter, We'll get credit for 21st tonight. That'll do it from Dover. Thank you so much for watching tonight's Fort Worth Screen Printing Cup Series race from Dover. Thank you to the folks at fwscreen.com and fwspdesign.com. Both those websites are places where you can get some awesome merchandise either made up for you custom or to pick up driver John Garrett's merchandise. Thank you all so much for being here. We have a raid to send to Jinxie Pie. Uh, we will send this over to them as soon as we are done here. But thank you so much for watching tonight's broadcast. We will see you in the next race. And if you're ever on the YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe. It helps us out so much in the algorithms, which gets us more eyeballs, which gets us more sponsors interested. So it's super, super helpful, and it's free to do. So it would be so helpful if you could do that for us. Thank you very much. Have a great night, and bye-bye.